Now let's check the purchase order again. Let's try to create one ME21 in. Put the same entries quickly. Let's see if the vendor I think was 1010. Well, better to just check it. Press F4 in the keyboard. Check for my company code ZMNM. Press OK to continue. Choose that vendor best price over here. Go to header. Enter the purchasing order MN01. Purchasing group triple zero. Company code ZMNM. It's taking it a bit more faster now just to show you the settings. Account in category K. Material was 2962. I'm going to buy 10 items. Uh, net price of $1.80 per item. Let me check that over here. Plant ZP02. And that should be okay just to check with this net price for whole 10 items or per item per price unit. So that's fine. And press enter in your keyboard asking you for the GL account. So specify the GL account inventory GL account. I think it was starting with a one. Let's see. OA. So which was that one inventory raw materials. Let's use that one. Cost center. We just created the cost center for production. So let's use that production cost center. This one. I'm going to use that cost center. Press enter in your keyboard and see if you're getting the message. Again, you're seeing that GL103010 cannot be used. Let's see the message log over here. And then you might have to go and check again. So it's still saying that between this table and the two tables between the purchase order account is my category and the GL account, there are still some differences. The difference is under special region. You can see it's coming directly and telling you special region. So we'll make this changes to the special region in our GL account setting. So we'll use OME9 transaction code to check the PO account assignment category settings. I'm just going to open a new setting over here, new screen. And I'm going to directly type in OME9. Press enter to continue. Account assembly category K. And see what's the special region is coming up for here. It, this is in alphabetical order, so it should come up in the, here it is. Special region is optional. Now then I will use OMC4 to check the field headers group. So this special region is optional over here. Just open another session and type in OMC4. Oh, sorry, that's not the right transaction. Let me just check again. This is actually OBC4, not OMC4, it's OBC4. Let's go over there, check that. Go to Z001, press OK to continue. Now to check what I have defined for special region. It should be coming as an optional entry. So let's page down over here. Do I have special region? Here mark one segment here. This special region is suppressed. So I need to change it to optional over here and save the transaction. Okay, so it's been saved now. Let's go out of that screen. And let me see if the budget order they can still do it. And the message will come or they have to log go out of the screen and come back again. And just press check again and see if it's coming up again. Especially, so I'll have to go exit this transaction and go and do this again. No. Now let's log off and log in again and come back to the PO screen. So again, the PO number is here, the window is here, material description, all this. Now, when you create a PO, you can always hold the document, which means, for example, if you're going through a long process of entering a lot of information, but you want to temporarily save it or to hold it and you want to come back to it again, you have the option called to click on hold over here. And then the system will hold and give you a PO number like this. And you can come back to this document over here saying other purchase order, this icon over here. Put in the PO number again, come back to the same document. So this is like saving the document, coming back to it. Now let's enter our information again. So again, item number 10, account assignment category K, material ID over here. Description of the material is coming, number of quantities you are purchasing, the price of each item $1.80 and I put the plant also over here and now I'm just going to check if everything is alright. No message is issued. Look at the item details screen. So the GL account, now is everything is okay for the between the account as an, um, assignment category K and the GL accounts field status group, everything is matching. So that's why we got a okay message. 
and cost center is also correct profit center is okay now we can continue